boas das elas, eu sou Niquinhas e bem-vindos ao meu canal. Estou aqui para vos pedir imensas desculpas pelo primeiro episódio da série de Tales from the Borderlands estar bugado. O áudio e o vídeo estão desincronizados e por isso venho aqui vos pedir imensa desculpa. Uh, e para tentar compensar as coisas, uh, eu joguei o primeiro episódio. Uh, agora, voltei a jogá-lo não vou ter o meu comentário nem nada porque basicamente não vai ter a mesma piada eu vou estar ali a ler outra vez não vou estar a rir nem nada disso por isso uh, vou-vos mostrar agora aqui o clipe do primeiro episódio sem problemas de áudio nem nada disso por isso peço extremamente desculpas já está tudo resolvido agora ao meio-dia vai sair o vídeo, o segundo episódio completamente direitinho, a partir de agora está tudo direitinho, uh, não sei porquê, mas basicamente o meu computador começou a dar estes erros, assim do nada, não sei se foi update dos drivers, nada disso, eu antes gravava com uh, OBS, a webcam, uh, o gameplay com o Shadowplay, começou-me a dar de sync em que eu tinha que utilizar o handbrake e eu não tenho muito tempo, o handbrake ainda demora mais tempo só para depois renderizar e por aí fora, o que faz, o problema que eu tenho é, o jogo não mantém os mesmos FPS e o que eu apanho uh, quando estou a gravar Tales from, from the Borderlands, se vocês verem o loading, ele crasha um bocadinho e dropa-me para 7 FPS, não sei porquê, acho que é a mesma otimização do jogo, porque depois o, o, rest, o restante do jogo corre inteiramente a 60 FPS, sempre direitinho, que eu tenho 60 FPS cap, está um, tudo direitinho, mas opa, não sei, acho que é aqueles pequenas partes de loading que faz com que haja aquela disse que não há dop, ou seja, tem que usar o programa Handbrake, assim que se chama, para manter os FPS constantes, ou seja, ele volta a renderizar o vídeo e mantém os FPS constantes para que depois, quando eu passo para o Adobe, que é o meu programa de edição de vídeo, não haja de sync do, do, do som e, e do vídeo. Se vocês uh, tiverem alguma forma de resolver isso, opá, salva uma vida porque propõe-me bastante tempo a estar a fazer uh, outra vez a renderização do vídeo no Handbrake. Peço extremamente desculpas, eu não gosto de fazer nada deste tipo de coisas, normalmente eu faço tudo direitinho para perder o menos tempo possível e testo quando vou ver um vídeo e está com um problema qualquer e depois não posso uh, vos mostrar a melhor qualidade possível do produto uh, espero que compreendam peço imensa desculpas, obrigada quem me avisou vocês são 5 estrelas uh, a partir de agora vai estar tudo direitinho uh, por isso muito obrigado e desculpem mais uma vez, ok? Uh, episódio 1, direitinho, agora e aproveitem, uh, não tem comentário, não se esqueçam, ok? É só o gameplay, uh, espero que gostem e até a próxima. Beijocas boas, gostosões. Back again to hear another story of immense fortune and unthinkable peril? Well, I have some time. The borderlands of Pandora were told to contain mysterious alien treasure troves filled with advanced technology and incredible power. Vaults, the people called them. And to seek one out was to earn you the title of Vault Hunter. At least by me. You could say Handsome Jack was one such explorer, though his methods could be seen as uh, somewhat unsporting. He ran the corporation Hyperia and died trying to claim Pandora as his own. History's attention is fickle, my friends. It will remember those pirates like Handsome Jack, but forget the adventurers who risk it all for less, ah, uh, obvious rewards. 
Stories. Legends. Those are much better at getting at the real spirit of things. Stories remember both sides of the tale. Fiona! Come on, we can work this out! Fiona? What, is there some sort of radiation leak I don't know about? <laughs> Where exactly are we going? I ask the questions. Okay, then uh, do you mind asking yourself where you're taking me? Oh! <laughs> Ow, what the hell? Tell me about the Gordis Project. <laughs> is that what this is about? <laughs> Look, Gordis is bad business. If you want a real hot investment, I am on the ground floor of some property on E. Okay, 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 okay. Don't be a smartass. I'm not a patient person. So just start talking. Just where do you start when you're getting dragged through the desert and, uh... From the beginning. Right. I guess it all started with a promotion. See, I'd spent my entire career up at Hyperion, so I suppose that makes me one of the bad guys in this story. And Handsome Jack, he was the you baddest guy of them all. This long. It must feel good I to wanted to be grabbing, just you know? like him. Take it, it's yours, right? <laughs> I mean, you always <laughs> said that. Everyone did. I gotta be honest, I always thought it was sort of cheesy, but, uh, but hey, here Which we are. Which resulted in a company overflowing with assholes. Animals. When Handsome Jack died, it somehow got even worse. It took some time to fit in. But a few stabs and select backs, a new haircut, and the help of a couple friends, I was on my way to get the promotion that was going to change my life. Scratch that. Our lives for the better. I was a little distracted. It was a big day for us. Luckily, Vaughn was concentrating on the important things. What's the first thing you're going to buy? I know what Henderson's making. I do his payroll. If you're getting a fraction of what he earns, you'll be rolling in it. Yeah, there are a couple sweet rides I've been looking at. More fitting of the position I'm going to be in. Where the hell would you even drive that thing? We're in space. I wouldn't actually use it. It would be more for looks. Oh, right. Well, then that's a great idea. We're meeting with a vet afterward to celebrate. She booked us a table. Yep. Sounds good. Look, we had to do a lot of awful stuff to get you to this point. Do I regret some of it? Sure I do. Every night it haunts my dreams, but that doesn't matter now. Because you made it. You deserve this, man. And don't ever think you don't. And don't ever think about the Iridium Mine deal we put together. Hey, hey, we made it, okay? We're in this together. If I'm moving up, we're all moving up. You can be certain of that. I appreciate that, Reese. You know, people around here have short memories when it comes to that stuff. You, me, Yvette, 
We're gonna run this place. Yes, we are. All right, man. Let's get that Hyperion face on. Oh, right, yeah. Hmm. No, oh, we need some condescending. It's a little too friendly right now. Okay, tell you what. Tilt your head back. Uh, like if you ask me if there's anything up your nose. How's that? There you go. You don't respect me at all. Perfect. Mr. Henderson? Have a seat, Reese. I'll just be a second. No, I wasn't talking to you. Yes, I'm talking to you now. Yeah, but I don't want it in red. I want it in black. Because black is better. Look, don't concern yourself with why, okay, Jerry? Concern yourself with how. And just send the car over when it's ready. Company car. Didn't even have to ask. You look surprised to see me, Reese, and if I'm reading the situation right, and I usually am, you're not too happy about it either. This all came together quick, so you might not have been in the loop, but it's for the better, at least for me. So where's Henderson? He, uh, stepped out. You're going to be reporting to me now. And I want you to know the promotion that you worked so hard to get. That's still coming to you. Well, that's a relief. <laughs> Cause I... But this is about more than that, Reese. It's about your future in this company. Look, you want to know the reason why I'm in that chair and you're not? For the exact same reason why North is North. Why the handsome guy always gets the girl. And why every spaceship in the universe is shaped like a cock. It's destiny, race, And men, real men, men like me, make their own. And you can hold a grudge if you like. No harm, no foul, your thoughts are your own. But bad things can happen when you swim against fate. Sometimes men find themselves standing in the way of other men's destiny. You don't want to be that man. Wow, I could not have timed that better. That really helps dramatically make my point. Which is this. This promotion is going to take you out of the way of other people's destiny and put you on your own path. And that, my friend, is why I am promoting you to... Jerry, why isn't my new car digistructing in my office yet? Vasquez, it's August. Oh, August, uh, yeah, cool, listen, uh, I actually have somebody here with me, so, uh... Are you buying this vault key, or what? Cause I... How did this happen so quick? I thought I'd have more time. Of course I'm still interested. I... Yes, I'm near a computer. Ten million, yeah. It's just that's a lot of money to get together on short notice. I mean, I'm not trying to be obstinate, but I need time. No, but... Three years sucking up to the guy. Out the Do window. Do you want the money or not? Because I... Oof. Why do the biggest scumbags always it's have not, the best It's not. No, it won't be a big deal for me to get... Oh, that should be me. Only less... Yes. vasquez -y. Yeah, that's what we had before. It's a working day, August. And I just got this promotion. What a waste. Such a nice suit. Look, 
Why are you trying to screw me on this? No, oh, fine. Just wait there, okay? I can only be down it. If it's gonna be ten million dollars, I'm gonna need another hour or two. Okay. Yeah, I'll be there in a bit. Well, then just stay there. It's a tourist shop, right? Buy a mug or something. Sure. 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 Okay, say hi to your mom. Damn it! Ah, right. Now, what were we talking about? Before we were so rudely interrupted. We were talking... <clears throat> We were talking about my promotion. All right, your uh, promotion. Anderson was a fool. He didn't know his place. He needed lesson number one. Humility. But you, I respect you, Reese. That's why I'm going to make you assistant vice janitor. What? N no. No, you, you, you can't. I'm the boss now, Reese. I do whatever I want. Report to Sewage Scout 23. Effective immediately. You can't humiliate me. I quit. Careful now, kid. The only way you quit Hyperion is the way Henderson did. You're dismissed, Reese. Let you know when I need my trash can emptied. What the hell was that? He can't do this to us. He just did. No. No, no, this can't be happening. I'm finished, Bo. I'm finished. You know who this place is. There's blood in the water, and everyone can smell it. No, 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 they can't. Not yet. Unless you don't quiet down. We just gotta keep it on the down low until we figure something out. It's not that bad yet. Senior Vice Janitor Reese to Sector D451 for trash cleanup. Because that is your job now. To clean up trash with your bare hands. Sorry, you were saying something? I interrupted you. Reese? Why are you cleaning up trash? I thought you were getting a promotion. Trash duty seems like the opposite of a promotion. Henderson's dead. What? Are you sure? Yeah. I mean, you can ask him yourself. He's floating outside in space! It's that prick Vasquez. He threw Henderson out of an airlock and demoted Reese to Trash Man. Holy crap. So, does that mean you're not buying? Well, just trying to lighten the mood. And I didn't bring my wallet, so if someone pays for me... I'll tell you who's gonna pay. Vasquez. I don't know if he's the type we to... We can't let that prick get away with this. We need to do something. He just killed a guy. Maybe it's better we lay low for a bit. What? No way. We hit back. We steal his deal. We steal his deal. Yes! That is what I'm talking about. What are you talking about? Vasquez set up a deal on Pandora for a vault key. Whoa. That must be why he got the promotion. The only thing Hyperion cares about more than money is its vault keys. It's perfect! I mean, not only do we screw over Asquez, we have a friggin' vault key! What are they worth? Like a billion dollars? More. Yeah, but we need ten million dollars right now to make the deal. Hold, please. Done. I'm not gonna lie. That was impressive. I'm in accounting. I mean, it's, it's what I do. Ten million bucks is chump change around here. By the time anyone notices, we'll have a vault key. Cool. Well, looks like you boys got it all figured out. I'm gonna go eat. Alone. Call me if you don't get killed, Whoa, whoa, whoa. Right? Hey, hey, we need your help. We need clearance, transportation. You're a requisitions master. We need that stuff. 
Yeah, maybe a loader bot or two. Well, things get dicey. Look, it's one thing stealing from a bunch of poor suckers on Pandora. You're talking about stealing from Hyperion. But we're friends! Friends help each other steal stuff. I mean, that's how it works. Richter used to steal candy bars. His family still doesn't know where the body is. Come on, I'll buy you the lunch I owe you when we get back. Fine. But you're buying me lunch now and when you get back. <laughs> Done. We only got a couple hours. Go withdraw the cash. I'll get you guys clearance to Pandora, get you geared up, and issue you a standard Hyperion town car. What? Standard? Really? I mean, you can't spring for premium? Seat warmers, maybe a convertible or something? Sure, yeah, a convertible. So, just so I got this straight, you want me to get you a car to drive around Pandora that leaves you less protected, right? Look, it just... You're gonna steal something, I uh, figure... No. No, don't worry. I've got a car in mind. Person. What'd you cross right there? Oh, crap. I think we... I think we killed it. Are we murderers now? We're, we're murderers. We're murderers. Great, great, we murder. Relax, Vaughn. It's a skag. They breed like hostile rabbits down here. Still, it's kind of sad. Yeah. Kind of. So, what do we say if someone asks where we got them? What do you mean? Well, I mean, what do we tell people? We should have a story. I would prefer not to tell them that we stole it from Hyperion. That would not go over well. Let's just say Vasquez gave it to us to make the deal. It's easier that way. Yeah. Uh, I guess I wanted a cooler plan, but I suppose that'll work. So, this looks not good. <laughs> Got ourselves a hero here! What are you looking at? It's Pandora. What did you expect? Yeah, no, I know. Uh, I, I guess I'm just now more acutely aware that I have $10 million chained to me, is all. In a neighborhood, I might add, of back planet nut jobs. Just keep your eyes open for the place, okay? I don't want to be here any longer than we have to. Yeah. And uh, watch the money. Oh, really? Listen. One tap on the arm, and Yvette can send down a loader bot if things get too entertaining. That's true. And she gave me this. It is a stun baton. I do not know how it works, but it's definitely neat. 
Yeah, stick. Neato. God, I can't wait to be in that chair. You and me, a vet. I mean, we bring this key back, and they're gonna make us the once and future kings of that place for sure. They'll send in a crew to use the key, and then that's it. Then it's kick back on the moon beach time. Don't think so small, my friend. We're not just gonna run Hyperion. We're gonna be responsible for plundering a vault. And you can count on two fingers the number of people who have even gotten close to that. Yeah. The tracker's beep beep beeping, but I don't see the place. It's the world of curiosities, right? Yeah, do you see it? No. Could ask one of them. They seem... normal-ish. Normal-ish enough, anyway. What an excellent idea. I thought so myself. E bem pessoal, este foi o primeiro episódio de Tales from the Borderlands, uh, completamente direitinho, como já disse no início do vídeo. Uh, não esqueçam que agora, ao meio-dia, voltou a sair o segundo episódio uh, e, mais uma vez, peço imensa desculpa pelo problema que, que aconteceu no primeiro vídeo de Tales from the Borderlands. Está direitinho, é a nova série do canal, está super, super divertida. Já gravei uh, alguns episódios e eu cago-me a rir, meu. Uh, venha aí uh, alguém fofinho, ok? Ao meio-dia, por isso não se esqueçam, passam por lá. Passem por lá, não é passam por lá, passem por lá. Muito obrigado por todo o apoio, vocês têm sido espetaculares. Uh, gosto muito de vocês. Estão aqui, cara, aqui, aqui no meu coração. Beijinho e até à próxima.